is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Southern California, they are the tag team of Max and Jeremy Buck, Generation B. Cucamonga. Yeah, Cucamonga, California. Cucamonga. The hometown of these two from the great state of California comes Max and Jeremy Buck, better known as Generation Me, and uh, these two are have become very tweet happy. A little bit tweet happy, I'll explain in a moment, but just tweeting a little bit too much. Really? Yeah. I didn't know it was possible. And their opponents, they are the tag team of Jesse Neal and Shannon Moore. E. E. In a very short time, these two have come a long way. Jesse Neal, Shannon Moore, the tattoo duo known as Ink Ink Taz, and have certainly had a great 2010 now, looking at having an even better 2011. And there's the book of Dilly Gaff. You know what that means. That's what Sharon, if you don't know what it means, you might want to Google that. Dilly Gaff. I know what it means because I'm cool. But you might be looking at it right now. Actually, I'm going to say that you are looking at the future of tag team wrestling in the world. And right here at TNA, in Inc. Inc. and Jen Me, these two teams. And a bright future it's going to be if the tag team world is going to continue like this because these two teams. Different in many ways, but at the same time, you know you're going to get what our company is all about, and that is total non-stop action. Well, it's smart by Generation Me before this thing even starts. They got out of the ring. You know what? Give Ink Ink, ink, ink there a moment. Get out of the ring so that referee don't try and say, you're going to try and attack from behind, do some kind of shenanigans or something like that. Yeah. Well, yeah, right. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Come Max on, and uh, Jeremy. Yeah. Uh, uh, will they follow? Uh, yeah. Follow a few people on Twitter. They follow you, I know, on Twitter. Of course Dan, they, who but, doesn't follow me? Come on, please. But these two have made it a point now, and they're just reading what they're tweeting lately. They, every time these two make it up to first class and, and get oh, to sit in nice class. seats. I saw that tweet on that. Oh, that's just true. rubbing in people's face, and man, we're happy for you and everything, but yeah, we need to know weird. every time you get in a limo and every time <laughs> you get in first class. I mean, please, well, guys. Well, maybe one day you'll fly in first class, and you'll be proud of it, too. But right now, Jesse Neal in complete control of Jeremy Buck. And Jesse Neal will tell you outright, thanks to Shannon Moore and the experience of Shannon Moore, he really wow. has come to his into his own as a great tag team wrestler in a very short time. Well, that's what happens. That's a good, you know, a good observation and good point by somebody, probably you. Uh, because, you know, when you have a tag team partner that is, you know, senior to you, uh, you know, a little more seasoned than you, you can learn from him. Well, that's a good uh, way to get motivated from a teammate. And when you're looking you might at want to take notes. Take ample notes, yes. Yeah, yeah, that's that's kind of a to us. Good to have a veteran there with you. Uh, I've been to the dance a few times, but uh, I digress. Right now, Ink Ink in control here of Max Buck. That was not it's Jeremy Buck. What am I talking about? Anyway. And Jeremy Buck, Max Buck have been teaming now. First team together, started wrestling at a very young age. They're late teens, believe it or not. So, uh, they look like they're now in their later teens. But anyway, Jen Me, they wear those, look at the girl pants. Look at those crazy psycho-like pants, girl pants. You want my answer or their answer? Their answer is they're the polyester, ladies, right? They're the polyester. ladies love them and they're polyester, yes. The ladies love polyester, navy blue with magic glow green, okay? That's California, guys. Cucamonga. That's where they're from. Jesse yeah. Neal uh, was aboard the USS Cole when it was attacked by uh, terrorists on December, I believe, of uh, January, rather. No, it's December of 2000. December, December of there January. There it is, right, right, right day after Christmas. Oh. Yeah, well, U.S. Navy veteran and war hero right there, uh, American hero, I should say, in the uh, Armed Forces hero, and Jesse Neal got his back scratched in a big way by Max Buck was very proud of himself. No question about it. And the tag team duo of Max and Jeremy Buck with the upper hand here this week on TNA Explosion. This match continues when we return. It's Ink Ink versus Whoa. Generation Me. Look at that. Oh. The tag team innovators, Generation Me, continue to dominate this matchup. Here on TNA Explosion, yeah. Generation well, Me taking on Ink Ink. Throughout the break, Generation Me has really singled out 
Jesse Neal really beating the living daylights out of him. And once these two young men, you know, it's all about them, Generation Me. It's all about that. That's their generation. It's, it's, it's not about anybody else. It's not about a work ethic. And um, it's a selfish, cocky, self-centered demeanor, which I kind of like. I think it's a good thing that Jim Me has that attitude. It's a winning attitude. Well, they, they're very much about themselves, of course, the exception being when it's your tag team partner and you've got that agreement, you share that same attitude, that same swagger, that same outlook on life. Right, right. Probably making a pretty good duo as a tag team because of that attitude. Besides the fact that both Max and Jeremy are tremendous physical competitors in that ring. I mean, tremendous wrestlers, high flying, take risk at all times and can rebound quick when they crash and burn. And the crowd solidly behind Jesse Neal. So I gotta be like a sleeper like on a rooster with that mohawk. A big roost, like a big, you know what I mean? Like the mohawk is massive. You gotta imagine go through a lot of hairspray and gel products, whatnot. Looks like the USC uh, mascot. Jesse Neal just got kicked right in the lower back by Max Buck. Frequent tags by I'll tell you what, the one thing they do have down is their isolation, their opponent. They've kept Jesse Neal at bay for pretty much the last several minutes. Well, Jesse realizes the problems that he's in right now. He's trying to bounce. Oh, wow, that was impressive. That was sick. Spear right there over that leaf frog up the top. And Jesse Neal has hit that spear out of him. There's another one. Kind of unexpectedly in many different ways. Got a tag in Shannon, but Shannon got popped off the apron. Everybody's down here. A hard fought back and forth match. Shannon Moore stands on the outside of the ring, just one tag away from changing this matchup entirely. Here he comes. Shannon Moore now in. And a bunch of rights taking it to Generation Me, Max, and Jimmy. Wow, wow, look at the house on fire. Other. Shannon Moore back in the ropes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that. Oh! Double head scissor takedown. Putting their heads together. Jim Migos flying and right there. Jeremy Buck got sailed out of the ring and slithered out of there. Look at that. Springboard into a moonsault. Got him. Oh. oh, that was so close. Good tag team work right there, saving his brother. He being, being Jeremy Buck. Now this is where the two of them are so dangerous. Both of them in the ring now, actually on the outside. Jeremy Buck coming back in. Ball! Oh! Just plants Shannon Moore's face right into the mat. Good way to get knocked out cold. And oh man, Jesse! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Max went for the pin. Nice kick out by Shannon Moore. And Max Buck's got to be wondering what's going to take to finish off Shannon Moore. Sizing him up. You can sense that uh, frustration from Max Buck. He thought he had the victory on That's Shannon. It. Oh, he don't realize Jesse's in the ring now, too. Oh, Jesse man. Neal holding up Max Buck while oh, Shannon Moore from the top. Holy Cucamonga right there. of tag team match by two young and vibrant teams. Look out, Bear Money Incorporated, because Inc. Inc. in the year 2011 got to be gunning for those World Tag Team Championships. And they are successful this week with a victory over Max and Jeremy of Generation Me here on TNA Explosion.